Today's Five Things You Need to Know is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. Hello, I'm Andy Cohen. Today is Sunday, May the 2nd, and this is a News 5 update. Two people from Pueblo lost their lives this weekend in a crash out on the Mesa. It happened just before 530 Saturday night along the Highway 50 bypass near Marie Lane. State troopers say the driver of an SUV turned in front of their motorcycle. The rider and passenger both killed. She was in her 60s. He was in his late 50s. Governor Jared Polis extended its statewide mask mandate for another 30 days. That order was set to expire this weekend. Masks must still be worn in schools and other indoor settings like child care centers, health care settings and personal services. There's currently no outdoor or mask mandate. A new report from the Kaiser Family Foundation finds that very low COVID vaccination rates exist among Colorado Latinos. Similar statistics were reported from other states. The foundation believes accessibility, a lack of information in Spanish, and vaccine appointment times that conflict with work schedules are contributing to the problem. And this pandemic has created many challenges for small business owners, but for Christine Bradley, it created some opportunity. She and her husband opened Delish Sips and Sweets, a coffee and pastry kiosk. They designed the business to give customers a contactless way to enjoy that morning cup of joe. Alan? Yeah, two of my favorite things, cookies and coffee. You know, today, seeing some very active weather here in southern Colorado, still some storms that will move across the Pikes Peak region early this evening, but the big severe storms of the tornado warned supercells, which should move out of the plains here by around 7 to 8 p.m., then in the overnight hours, we get a disturbance that moves out of Utah. That is really going to bring some high moisture content to the state. And it looks like your day on Monday is going to be unsettled and much colder with some beneficial moisture moving through southern Colorado throughout the day and some snow for areas above 7,500 feet. Highs tomorrow, much, much colder, only into the 40s around the Springs, Walsenburg, and Trinidad. Thank you for listening to today's five things you need to know. Sponsored by Power Credit Union.